Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a radial UMG health bar or you can do a XP bar or a, or a mana bar. So yeah let's get started. Here I show you what I got. So here are the bars with the event tick so it's just a uh, yeah, template or a demo. So yeah this uh, one comes from Google so I found this a few weeks ago and yeah I want to share with you. So all you have to do is type in Unreal Engine Radial UMG Health Bar and there is this circle shaped HP bar with Alpha Mask um, forum post. And yeah here a guy called Jeremy shared with us his work so you can see it somewhere here down. So yeah here is um, his uh, yeah his information video on the values what they do and if you scroll a bit uh, further down you have here the translucent version with a better background um, yeah fall through so we will use this one so just click on the Dropbox link and download this one <laughs> then let's create a new project. I call this radio UMG without spacebar here and let's use the third person. Once it opened you just have to close it again then click on the project right click and show the content folder and here inside the content open it up and then go to Google again open your download and then <coughs> do exactly again like I do so get this folder here and do it straight into the content folder like this and then you can reopen the project and we got here our U forum help dynamic radio health bar or XP bar so here are some functions he created so this is a bit confusing I think for a lot of people so uh, I needed some time to actually uh, get into this so if you want to modify you have to really read everything here up. I won't explain this now I just explain how you can fit uh, your health bar into UMG. So the next thing here are the material so in this one we will actually um, yeah, change this one so here you can make this for the plane so you can see the radial uh, yeah, movement. So on the material domain we will change this to user interface so we can use it in uh, UMG. So then we hit apply and save. Bring it up there and yeah now it's almost ready for UMG. Oh, one thing I forgot is here at the end we want to customize this thing here so this is the one where the movement derives from this is the speed if I use for example 10 it's very fast so just make it one so it's normal and here for the time input I will use a scala parameter so we can change this in UMG and I just call this value whoops again value like this apply and save so now if you want to create random or more um, looking uh, yeah radials you just have to make right click here and create a material instance I just call this HP I make this one green so the important thing here is make sure you have this checked so the mask percentage and of course the value so this is the two points that makes this work in UMG and the next thing I will just add here some green color save this color let's make this one also green so you have the opportunity to uh, choose from two colors or mixed two colors like this 
and I will make this a bit brighter here. Let's see. In set full of, I think. Yeah, here. I will go into this a bit later, so I just make now, uh, yeah, more or less good looking radial bar, and let's implement this one. So I create here a new folder. Gmg. Whoops. And of course, we need a new chit. So now let's open this up. And all we have to do in here is to create an image. Let's size it 200 to 200. And bottom down there. Get here 0, 0. Then we can the alignment on 1, and it's back in the screen. And here on the brush, we have to get here our HP material instance, compile and save. Make sure this one is a variable. You can also rename it if you want. I will leave it as it is. And let's on event construct pull this in first and then get dynamic material. So we want to get the this whoop, wait. Want to get nah this options here, this is a material instance, so we want to get the dynamic material. And here we can uh, read that it will give us the material instance dynamic reference for this instance. So promote this to, let's just call instance, oops, instance 1. And from this one, we make here a getter and we want to set a scholar parameter value. So before we do this, we want to have the tick here uh, increases our value. So this is just for debug. Uh, in your game, you can, for example, if you have a burst or hunger, you can decrease it after time, for example. So here we just get a float. Just call it also float. It's just for demo, so it doesn't matter set this one here, get the float, and let's add here 0 0.1, a uh, point zero 0.01, and get this together. And from this one we want to add to the parameter, and here in the name, just grab here your dynamic instance master, and here the name of this one, and let's set it in. And it should work. Whoops, I forgot to open the widget. So we will make this from the level blueprint. So open this up. And event. Do we have here begin play? We just want to create the widget. This one. And we want to add the viewport like this. So yeah, there we go. It's a bit fast, so you can adjust here, of course, your value. And yeah, it's uh, it's better now. So yeah, that's it for this part. So for explanation of the values we have here on the mix, we have a template uh, here bar from uh, Jeremy. So. I like this one very much, so I will explain here a bit the values. So don't forget, this one is the translucent version, so I will later show you how you can download the normal version. And I faced the problem that when you pick blue here, bluish color, two times, then it's a bit too translucent. So for a Marner purpose, this one is not so great. So let's just get back here and I show this one to you later. So here we have the CMP tile. So this one is the, those white shuggles here. So if we make one, you can see this one is a bit rounder now, around the x-axis. If you make 10, for example, you can see this one is a much more tiled here to more pieces. So for example, here on Y, if we make this two times, we have now this one uh, yeah, cut it into X tiles and Y tiles. So yeah, 
This also looks very cool, but let's make this one three. You uh, really need to look for the FPS if uh, if you have a game which should be very low FPS or don't really need a lot of resources. This tiling here will need a bit more resources than when we only use use three. The next thing is the halo speed. So here we have, if you click in, you can better see this. Um, so if we now, for example, get here one, you can see that this, yeah, this bubble here or this this wiggle will be much faster. So if you want to have more action here, just increase the speed here. Next thing is the initial road location. This one is the position of the start. So if we just go for value here and make 0.1 so we can see this a bit better. So if we change this one, we can, uh, yeah, it will rotate the bar. So let's just leave it as it is. So the next thing is the uh, inside fall off. So this is for the alpha mask. If we make the zero, we will see here the alpha mask is completely uh, away inside. So if you want to have this a bit thicker, just play with these values here. I will leave it as eight. The multiplier is, if you see here, zero. Now we can see this best. So if we I know not zero one. Then we can actually uh, combine this with the with the uh, white alpha mask. So if you want, for example, such a hole here or a, something like a yeah uh, yeah how do I call this a pull into the like a dark hole, for example. Um, yeah, then you have to play here with the multiplier values. I will just leave it as it is here. So let's get here to the noise. If you make this one higher, you can see those um, yeah, yeah lines here in are not so uh, trenched anymore. So if you make the fall of higher, it's this, this noise. It is called I called it bubbles <laughs> or, or wiggles, but it's the actual noise. So here you can adjust the value. Uh, the trench is actually, I think, the thickness of this noise. So let's just let that at two. Uh, for the fall off outside, we have the same like the inside, just for the alpha outside mask. So here we can actually make this the alpha mask to this yeah texture again, or to the circle if we make this zero here. So let's make this, whoops, not zero, two, I mean. And if you make this high, you can make this here sharper. But I'll just leave it at two. So the next thing is the pulse boost. So let's increase this to five just. And you have this, like, like lightning is through this. So I have here a bit lag because I'm recording. Uh, you shouldn't uh, face this lags here sometimes because yeah, this recording uh, captures a bit of the processing power, so it's a bit laggy sometimes. So here we have this pulse. Oops, I just wanted this to be 10. And the time, so if we have 5, it's just really, well, struggly for me. It's blinking a lot, so let's get this point 1 here. Like this, so it's a bit of a lightning effect. Um, let's get to the constant speed. Yeah, this is not really for us important because we managed just with the initial road location. So let's go on here. So the size is just the scale of this one. So we could make this uh, zoom in here if we do two. For example, we can make this smaller and bigger here. So just leave it at one. And yeah, the trail boost is this one here. This is the trail. 
So if we just make this 2, you can see it's a bit smaller. If we make 0, there is no trail anymore. And if we make 20, it's very big, so I'll leave it at 1. So yeah, the value is just all variable to make this one here open and close. So yeah, that's it for this one. So let's just look this one up. So here you get the your image. And let's get the health dial A here. And yeah, actually that's how it looks. So this one is translucent. You can see it there, it's translucent version. If you want another version, just rename this one into translu and bring back your uh, yeah forum here post. So this one was the translucent thing, and here is the normal one. So if you want to have, for example, mana, so for the blue one, this one looks a bit better, I think. So just download this, open this up again. And the same way we did before, open the folder. And here again, just drag this in and let's restart our project so everything is on its right place. Yeah, here we have now our other thing. So do the same thing for the master like we did for the um, for the translucent things, so just grab the CNN. You can see opacity is not connected. And here, just do a new scalar parameter, which is named value, and make this one one. So I will fast copy over the red example, so you can see the changes. So I just created the translucent version, so you can see here it's yeah actually more. Uh, yeah, constant, so there is no translucent scene. So for this one, you can better use the blue. So you really can see here the changes. So here we can see much better than if we, for example, use here our thing before and pick here blue. We actually can't really see the blue one. So if you want to have blue, you need to use the other one. So let's make this back here. And yeah, here we have the blue one, and here you can use the blue one better. Yeah, that's actually everything. So thanks for watching. And yeah, I will put all the links into the description and the download links. And yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks and bye.